I have had a lot of really good role models along the way to look up to and have helped me as I've started this journey to become a teacher and I've just decided this is what I'm gonna do. You wanna stay at home? Yes. Mom and I have to leave real early in the morning again. I know. Where are you going? I have to go back to Cedar Falls in the morning. Wait, I'm going with you? Mom's gonna ride with me tomorrow. He tries to come home once a week besides the weekends. So it, it makes for a lot of miles. On average, it's about a thousand miles a week I put on the pickup. Apparently, he likes to put on like a Marvel movie and just listen to it. So I've watched those movies so many times, I have the scenes memorized. I turn the movie on, flip the phone upside down so I'm not tempted to watch it, and I just play it through the speakers all the ride home. Thankfully, every now and then, Stacy makes the trip with me like she did today, so I have someone to talk to. A significant amount of stuff happened this time of year, and so that, that's on his mind a lot this time of year, and I think that's some of the reason why he puts the movies on, so he can think about those. I went to some absolutely uh, haunting calls um, that I never wanted to go to. And um, I never wanted to leave that job. But I couldn't do it anymore. And I knew that. I'm not chasing taillights on the freeway anymore. I'm not going, I'm not responding to helicopter crashes anymore. I'm learning how to use a wood lathe this week. and. And I'm going to learn how to do a new computer program this week. About the time the lanes split on Hudson, as soon as you cross Highway 20 and you see that dome off in the off in the distance, I'm in a better mood. And I don't know what it is about that dome, but I see the dome and I'm in a better mood instantly. We're going to go to the tap and get some food and go home, and I'm going to do homework for a little bit. Out of 22 kids in my high school, I graduated number 20 or 21. I was either la second to last or third to last in my class. And I didn't have a lot of choices. It was junior college or I was going to work in the warehouse. Uh, that was my dream, was to go play football for you and I. This kind of was a goal that he, he gave up on because life happened and other decisions were made. I got to college at Iowa Central. And I, I did well my first year there, but quickly started kind of, you know what, I'm on my own. No one's telling me what to do anymore. And it wasn't until I was standing in formation and basic training when I realized, you know what, college actually wasn't that bad. I should have stuck with that. Already in the, in the year he's been in the program, he's gotten certified as a concrete flat worker. He has his industrial technology certificate. From empty lot to there's somebody living it, they build a house over the year he was at Indian Hills. Because of the time I spent in the military, because of the the extremely long hours I spent working in law enforcement and out on the ambulance and on the semi driving coast to coast when I was driving for the over the road trucking. I would not respect the teachers, what they do, knowing how much work they do in the background before they get here so that I give them the respect I believe they're due by showing up to their class, by studying for the tests that they give us. Caleb decided here was where he needed to be just for the environment and the campus and the tradition of, of being the teacher's college. I stay in Shoal Hall and on the days that I stay here I, I eat dinner in the piazza. I've tried to immerse myself in this as much as I can without taking away from what I, my responsibilities are at home. Yeah! All right! Press them, boys! And the biggest change I've noticed has been in our oldest son Peyton. And part of that is just because he's getting older. He's, he's a freshman in high school now, which is separating him from his, his younger brother who won in, you know, in third grade, won in eighth grade. Part of that is just the maturity level of being in high school and everything that he's involved in. But I also know he's become a lot more independent and in taking care of things on his own. Can I cut me for a second? You figured it out? You did it without me. And Matthew, he is our, our, our middle child. Well, he's doing better this year than he did last year. He, his first quarter this year, he had a 4.0 GPA. He knew it could be an issue with the family, and so that's why he's trying to put that emphasis on calling. And I'm able to get on video chat with my son at night, and we go over his homework. You are a full-blown goofball, son. That's what I appreciate about you. If it was not for my parents being around, helping with the kids, with Stacy just being who she is, I mean, this is not new for her at all, for taking over the the majority of the load when it comes to the house. At one point in time, I was working as a full-time police officer. I was working on a private ambulance as an EMT, and I was working security at CenturyLink Field with the Seahawks all at one time. So there were times I would come home from one shift, take a shower, grab my next uniform, put it on, walk back out the door. 
and catch a nap in the carpool on the way to wherever I was headed next. The kids still always had dinner. I never had to worry that their clothes weren't clean. They weren't getting their homework done. I, I knew that that stuff was getting taken care of. And without her doing that, I wouldn't have been able to do any of the things I've done over the past 16 years of our marriage. I'll put it back. Dinner's gonna be here in just a minute. I may be a month old when my, my mom and dad split up. So up until my mom remarried when I was in fifth or sixth grade, the whole town helped raise me. The whole town, everybody in town had something to do with me at some point in time. There you go, that's you. Yes. I owe it to the children to let them finish school where they want to. Without any hesitation, consensus from all three of them are, we're not leaving Seymour. Okay, we're not leaving Seymour. So whether or not I have to drive 70 miles to work every day, then that's what I'll do, but we're gonna stay living in the Seymour area. Isaac looks so enthused. Year by year, we're getting better. He's moving his mouth anyway. I don't know if he's, any words are coming out. I guess that's the biggest thing I can hope that my kids will take away from this is, is just don't give up, ever.